Today, I'm going to show you how to select and change colors in Lightroom. Hey there, welcome to Flurn. My name is Aaron Nace. You can find me on flurn.com where we make learning fun. And in today's episode, we're switching it up a little bit, getting out of Photoshop. We're going to hang out in Lightroom where I'm going to show you how to select and change colors. Now, they've done some great advances with Lightroom pretty recently, the ability to add range masks. So that's kind of the key to making selections here in Lightroom. It's super cool. So we're gonna start off using our hue sliders to make subtle adjustments to our colors. Then we're gonna go into the adjustment brush, make selections and move the colors even further. So here we are with our sample image. You can actually download this on flurn.com so you can follow along. Just click on the link right down below. So what I want to do is change this red here of our sweet Volkswagen uh, to something like yellow. I kind of want to match the roof racks. So the place that I recommend starting is here in your develop module. So let's go ahead and click on the develop module. And this is where you make your adjustments. The place I recommend starting is right here where it says HSL slash color. Now you have the options for hue, saturation, luminance, or all three at the time. For now, we can just take a look at hue. So you can take your reds and simply move these sliders and make some adjustments. Now, there are a couple slight downsides, in my opinion, to these sliders. One downside is, and you can see here, it's such a, adjust the oranges. It's adjusting colors in my entire image. You can see the roof rack changes, that roof changes up there. And usually you don't want that. Usually you want to just change the colors, you know, just over this Volkswagen. The other limitation that I find here is right now it's red and that, that looks cool. And I can bring it to magenta and I can kind of push it towards uh, this like yellowy color a little bit. But what if I want to push it a little bit farther? Like let's say I wanted to make it green, for instance. I actually can't do that where I'm used to in Photoshop using a hue saturation adjustment layer, I can make that green, I can make that blue, whatever I want. So in my opinion, it is really cool that it's so easy to use, but it's a tiny bit limited. Now there's one other way that you can use this, and that's simply by clicking on this little icon here, which will allow you to click and drag in the photo itself to make adjustments to these colors. So this is pretty cool. It's very easy to use. But again, we're still a little, little limited and we're gonna start with our second technique. So the first one, super easy. Second one, a little bit more complex, but it's gonna allow you to make more adjustments. So for this, we're gonna load our friend, the adjustment brush. So you're gonna wanna go all the way up to here to the top. You got your histogram right up here. So underneath that, you have your adjustment brush and your adjustment brush looks like a brush with some dots right around it. Now. With our adjustment brush, you can actually paint where you want on your image and then make your adjustments over that area. So just real quick, I'm gonna bring my feathering down of the brush. We'll go ahead and bring our flow up on the brush. And then you can use your open and close brackets to make your brush larger and smaller. There we go. Now I'm gonna go ahead and start painting here over top of our Volkswagen. Uh, right now it looks darker because it actually has my exposure at negative 1.05. That's just loaded in from the last time I used this. So I'm gonna go ahead and click a zero on here. So we don't, we're not actually gonna make any adjustments. I'm simply painting where I wanna make the change. Now, by default, I can't really see what I'm painting because the mask itself is not visible. So if you wanna make your mask visible, which I do suggest doing, hit O on your keyboard. So I'm gonna hit O, and then you can see, I do have a visible mask, but it's red. If you wanna change the color of your mask, you can hold down Shift and hit O. And there we go, we got a few different colors for our mask here. So I'm gonna go with this green color because it helps me to see what I'm doing. The red just looked like the red Volkswagen. There we go. So painting right over top of here. Now you can see I'm not trying to be like super, super precise with my painting. I just want it to be like pretty good. There we go. And that, that's good enough. So the idea here is that the area that you paint that's the area that you would actually make adjustments. So I'm gonna hit O to just turn off our mask and we can see, for instance, I could bring my exposure up and down. There we are. And I'm gonna hit O again because I want to be able to see my mask. And you can see I painted over the wheel wells and outside of the car a little bit. So 
Now I want to use range masking to really just dial in that red color. So that's all I'm going to be changing. So down here on the bottom, you're going to see range mask. Now this is a recent addition to Lightroom. So if you haven't done so, be sure to update to the most recent addition to Lightroom. Then you'll see this range mask option. So here in your range mask, you can mask by luminance as well as color. And in this case, we want to use color because we want to change the color. So let's go ahead and click color. Then you want to click on this little eyedropper here. And then I think they've done a nice job. You can actually just click and drag over a range of colors. So I'm going to click and drag there. And you can see instantly as I did that, look at how much more refined my selection is. So let's just show you the before. And then here's the after. It really just dials it right in to the colors that we select. So that's what range mask is all about. It's going to select a certain range and mask that out. And in this case, I chose the color version and I just clicked and dragged right on the colors. So let's hit O and now we'll start making some adjustments. For instance, I'll bring my exposure up, bring my exposure down, and you're going to see that's going to happen just there on the little Volkswagen. OK, so it's, it's masked very well now. How do we go and change our colors? Well, there are a couple ways to do it. One is you can adjust your temperature sliders here to go warmer or cooler. And this is a decent way. I find it's cool to kind of like get you partially there, uh, but it's not going to be perfect. The other way to do this, let's bring those back to zero, is to simply add a color. So I'm going to click here on my little color picker, and then you can just choose a color. Now, remember earlier we said I couldn't get to blue. We'll see if I can make this blue. So I'm going to click on like a, a blue right there. And you can see, let's just show you the before and after. It did definitely put some of that blue in there, but it didn't go all the way. <laughs> and I want more blue. I want it to be actually blue. So I'm going to hold Option and Command and then click right here on this little adjustment pin. And each time that I click, it's going to make a duplicate. Now that green you see, that's just my mask. But what it's doing is it's duplicating this and I'll click a few times and there we go. We're able to dial in this kind of like bluish color, which is really cool. I wasn't able to do that with just the hue sliders. So now I was able to get this color a lot closer to what I want. It's still not perfect, but now because we changed the color, Lightroom kind of sees this as a whole new color. So we can go back to the hue sliders and continue to make our adjustments. I know it's a little bit of a process, but we're able to do things in Lightroom that like before today, honestly, I didn't think you could do. So that's cool. So now what we're going to do, we're going to get out of our adjustment brush. So we're done with our adjustment brush. So you've, you've still got this open. Go ahead and close it down. We're going to go back to our hue saturation light list. We'll go to our hue. There we go. Pop this little guy up there. And then I'm just going to click and we're going to drag that right up. Because again, I wanted this to be green. And I think, you know, let's go green all the way. And it's a little too saturated. No big deal. Just go to our saturation and I'm just going to lower down our saturation just a little bit. Oh, you know what? It's going towards like a. I actually really like that color. You know what? That is a color I can get behind. <laughs> what am I like the colorist over here? No, I, I dig that color. But you can see what it's doing is it's taking what was red and now we're able to push it to different colors which gives us much more control of our colors than if we were just using the hue sliders. If you want to make subtle adjustments to your colors, like let's say you want to make red into orange and you don't mind if that happens over your entire image, you can use just those hue sliders. Now, if you want to make sure you select a certain object by color, or if you want to make significant changes to that color, then you want to go to your adjustment brush and just make sure to paint over that object or paint over that color. Then where it says range masking on the bottom, Click there and go to color and click your little eyedropper. Do a click and drag right over top of the color you want to actually edit. That's going to turn that into your mask selection. And from there, you can simply load in new colors. And if you need to, just duplicate that adjustment over and over again so the effect becomes stronger. Then when you're done with that, you can go back into your hue sliders for any additional changes. Now you can also do this in Photoshop by using a hue saturation adjustment layer, which in my opinion is a little bit more straightforward, but I do think it's very cool that we were able to do this in Lightroom because again, I actually didn't think this was possible until I really dug in and uh, well, spent a lot of time trying to figure out how to do this. So <laughs> this is how we change our colors in Lightroom. 
If you enjoyed today's tutorial, be sure to hit that subscribe button on your screen now and give us a couple of likes. Those are those big thumbs up on YouTube. We'll send you free tutorials every single week. Can't beat that. Thank you so much. I'll learn you later. Bye everyone.